Hello video family, this is Tish with Lose Weight Now TV. However, this is not a weight loss video. I'm doing this because I am concerned about my hair. You can see it's very thin all along here. And at first I was like, well, I'm over 40, you know, hair starts falling out. But then I noticed there's a lot of people, a lot of women, all colors, all ages, whose hair is thinning and they're worried about it. I mean, it's um, something like one out of every three women wear hair pieces. White women, black women, Latino, you know, whatever, just because they want fuller hair. Um, so, of course, if you watch my videos, you know, um, it has to do with what they're doing to us. They're messing with our food, they're messing with our water, we're bombarded by, like, I'm on a wireless laptop. My, the thing that it gets the modem is in another room. Well, there's rays in between where I am and where that modem is, and we're being bombarded by those. Everywhere we go, there's wireless everything, right? Airwaves, radio waves, I don't know what you call them. But that, we're just bombarded by toxins and things that, um... Our body has to process and go, what is this? And, and it doesn't know what to do with these things, right? So we have that, and then we're malnutritioned. I don't care if you eat the best organic food, because I try to. I try to eat organic, natural. I take a very good vitamin and mineral supplement. Um, still, with all of that, I what my hair, I just wasn't happy with it, so... I did some research. I've watched a lot of videos. So I'm going to do like a little mini series of regarding hair. But so I broke this one down to do hair and, and do hair and nail supplements. Usually if you get a hair supplement, it says it's for hair and nails, and that's because our hair and our nails are made of protein. I've always had strong nails. I don't know if you can see. I have no problem with my nails growing. Never, never have. Um and my hair, as you can see, is pretty long, right? But it's very thin, and like I said, I'm not happy with the, you know, the all this right here. So, I've done research, I've watched videos, and here's what I have found. Just some general facts about hair. For women, optimum hair growth is um, between 16 and 24. And also, if you think about, that's when you're prime for having babies, right? So all the hormones are working, that's, you know, everything's working, so your hair is healthy and everything's good, right? So then, but I know, I know two girls, two young ladies, white young ladies who, they're worried about their hair, they're having to wear short hairstyles because their hair is thin and falls out. Um, so it's all ages, right? Like I said, I'm over 40, but anyway, so um, the... We have, on average, hundreds of thousands of hair follicles, right? But they're not always working. Some, like if a, a hair comes out, and if you if the hair comes out and you see a little white thing at the end, that hair has come out of the follicle. So that has to start growing all over again, right? But um, not only that, some follicles take a break. But you don't, they don't know if it's like a week break or a year break or whatever. But they'll go inactive and then they'll start to grow again. So I'm thinking that something's happening to our hair follicles when they're going on break. They're not coming back. That's just a theory that I have, you know. Could be wrong, whatever, right? Anyway, so um, blonde haired people have the most hair, then brown hair, then black hair, and then red hair. I thought that was interesting. Don't know why that is. I guess I could do more research. But I don't. What I did read didn't seem to have an answer. It just said that was the findings, and um, I just thought that was interesting. So the next thing I wanted to say was, okay, now I have worn my hair pulled back in a bun for years, right? So I'm figuring that's why I'm having these issues, too, because I always pull my hair back in a bun. Um, but they say that has nothing to do with it. 
I mean, and you think about, well, why, you know, all my hair is pulled back. Why would it just be the hair that's across, you know, right there? I don't know. But anyway, I do know that it's hot right now where I am. But when the winter comes, I'm not going to, like right now, I don't blow dry my hair. I just, I air dry it after I wash it. And then I use the in styler thing to straighten it. And, um, but I'm just not going to do that when it cold and it stays cold because we had rain for two days and we had cool weather and now we're back to 100 degree weather but um I'm just gonna wear my hair curly because I have hair that's curly when it's wet and if I you know I can blow dry it straight if I want to or you know straighten it whatever the whole winter I'm just gonna go curly and, and do my routine that I'm gonna show you in another video and um see what happens but so do hair supplements work? I'm going to say yes. But the thing is, um, you have to take them for a long time. You can't take them for a month and say, oh, I didn't see anything. Because the follicles are on their own cycles. Like you can see, and that's why I haven't really done anything to my hair, right? You can see I have these little short hairs, right? Okay, you can see the hair, because this is new growth. This is um, new growth for about two months. But you can see how this hair is different, right, than the hair that is closer to my scalp. Um, that is new growth. If you're just seeing me in this video for the first time, in February I started a new lifestyle of exercising, um, I drink a green drink, you know, every morning, um, and I started on my vitamin, the vitamin supplement thing I started in April, but anyway, so I'm putting good stuff in my body to begin with, right, so I still wasn't happy, so I started to do research on hair supplements, and there's a health food store that I go to, and I noticed the gentleman or whoever's there, there's always this hair supplement um, box on the counter so one time I asked the guy which I think is the owner I said does this work he says I don't know it's the most popular it sells you know he said it's the most popular one that sells and he says but you do have to take it for at least 90 days and so I was like okay so I looked at the ingredients well there's lots of women on YouTube women young ladies whatever who take biotin right biotin so I was like okay let me do some research on that which I think it's a B vitamin. It's a B vitamin, and it, so if you're taking just biotin, it's, you know, it's a B vitamin. So um, I looked at his little box that he had there. I can't remember the name, but the top ingredient, the first ingredient in it was biotin. So I was like, I'm just going to take biotin. Plus, because I already take, you know, other things, I didn't need, like it had vitamin E, and some other stuff. And I was like, well, I'm sure I'm getting all that other stuff in the other things that I take, right? But, so, yeah. So, I've been taking this. Um, it's one pill a day, one capsule a day. They're very small. Oop. Well, I'll just get another one. Um, they're very small. And I have the 5,000, either 5 milligrams or 5,000 MCGs. Um, see how small that is? It's not even the size of the tip of my pinky. So it's very small. It has no taste, no smell. So you take it. I have been pretty good about taking it every day. Um, some days I just forget, but it's, you can't see, but it's pretty empty. I'm almost done. And it's not expensive or I wouldn't have bought it. I got it at Whole Foods, but Sprouts had them buy two get one free so i'm set for a while right but um yeah so um a lot of the ladies on youtube take 1000 so one milligram or 1000 mcgs i went for the 5000 because i am over 40 and my hair is really damaged and um yeah so i just i take that one but so to wrap this up because i'm going on 10 minutes i believe that the hair supplements work but because of the follicle thing and how if you pull a hair out from the follicle, it has to start all over. 
Now I have this long hair, right? These long hairs. I've had these hairs for four or five years. And I do cut my hair. I've actually cut about six inches off my hair because I'm trying to grow out all the unhealthy hair that was there. But I want all of this, you know, this front part to get thick um, before I go get like a hairstyle. But um, yeah, so I've been taking it for about two months because there's 60 pills in there. And my target areas are these areas right here. I should have had a comb. But um, so you can see that in two months it's starting to grow in. My widow's peak right here is um, starting to grow in. And um, so it takes time. So imagine, you know, five years from now these hairs could be you know down here but um i you know so we'll see so the next time i'm going to do another check will be around the 15th of december but i believe they work but i believe you it's if you start a hair and nail supplement it's something you will need to take for the rest of your life or until you're happy with, you know, but it doesn't say, it just says it's a vitamin supplement for healthy hair, scalp, and nails. It doesn't say it's going to make your hair grow because I'm sure the FDA will not allow people to say that. So, again, if you're going to take a hair supplement, you have to take it for quite a while before you see results. So, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. The next video will cover castor oil. Uh, castor oil is good for hair. The next video will be hair growth. Um, and castor oil is key in that. I found that out. Putting it on the hair, not taking it, not eating it. And what else was I going to cover? Um, that's it. Still went long. Sorry. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, bless and be blessed. See you in the next video.